Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Trapping with Jinx. Gonna do ourselves some more coyote trapping. It's gonna be super awesome. Got a nice line out right now. Probably takes me about three hours to run. So, uh, most of which is gonna be on my four-wheeler. Real cold, bitter day today. It's uh, zero, negative temps, uh, negative 10 I think on the windshield. So, I'm gonna bundle up and uh, we're gonna go check some traps. Should be a good day, nice productive day. I'm trying to hit five coyotes to break my personal best record i didn't hit my goal on my coyotes so that's the goal right now is the push is to catch five coyotes and i've got four days something like that left and uh, i think i can do it and uh let's go check it out let's go get going well getting ready to check a cable here and i uh, caught a coyote looks like but uh get chewed out let's see if i can find that Tip. 8 30 in the morning everything else held up well it's the first chew out i've had uh, that i can think of maybe i caught him early yesterday had enough time to chew on the wire that's what happens I'll let that one go maybe we'll catch him someplace else right so it is what it is right a little chew out on a cable nice trail coming off this hill leading out into this other pasture and uh cable sat here for three weeks caught one he chewed out <laughs> it happens here we go keep moving well catch is a catch this time of year nice fence line had a cedar tree right here i poked in a, a my, one of my famous cedar zets caught this raccoon on it got a set over here in this corner and it's kind of a four-way so there's a fence line fence line fence line fence line and a nice timber coming off of there and uh snow is really crusty still a nice cold day today caught him in a one and a half coil spring <laughs> so i'm gonna get that dispatch and do the reset on that i think it'll still be okay i'm gonna keep moving down the line well, I want to take you guys real quick to a set location that I just I kind of almost fell in love with. I, I you got this CRP blue stem kind of stuff, cattle country fence line, and you have this really long cattle trail going that way, and it cuts right around this corner. <laughs> and I loved it so much. I put a cable that that won't hit the fence. This has got to be a foot from a fence in my, in my state right on that trail and they were literally the coyotes were running right down that trail and cutting the corner and then I, I you know i thought well i've never done this before and i always wanted to so i i set a blind set right here and of course it's tripped off today looks like i had a, a kite or not a coyote but a raccoon um that's kind of what i'm going by it's not a real big catch circle so um i held i got i caught one on a blind set didn't do anything with it I boxed it in just a little bit on the sides to where he had to step on the pan. Got a good catch and uh, story of the day today. <laughs> I'm missing, missing fur, right? But uh, I did want to show you this set location because I like it so much. I probably will reset that and do like a, a walk through um, about 15 feet away from my cable. On them. I may just pull it either way. But anyways, I want to share that with you. That's just something I'm working on. And uh, well, I have three sets here. I've got one over here on this cedar tree, cattle gate. Good stuff going this way. Got a cable down there. I'm really interested in it. it looks like I caught a raccoon down here. And, uh, but the critters are all crossing right here at this gate. Well, it's a really really nice old raccoon he's got his whole hand stuck in there i was kind of hoping they wouldn't be running it's like zero degrees two degrees it's been really cold and uh put that on a, a bone set on a flat set and there's a cattle trail coming through here of course cows aren't in here right now we'll walk it out i tried to get a, a blind set right here in of course, the root, the root structure wouldn't let me. 
but I wanted to get a cable on this trail and uh, hopefully it will still be down here running yeah I see it now it's fine you can kind of see it's right here and I ran my cable out so that they won't tear too much of this up and that's my trail only a matter of time on that cable it's a really good cable and we got a pond right here so everything is funneled right here when the of course when the ice is on they'll run across the ice but you get the idea i like the set location and uh gonna get this uh raccoon dispatched go check some more traps well took you to a location that i really like big timber over there it goes a long ways nice fence row got a cable here and then a dirt hole up on top of the hill caught a lot of coyotes right here and in this spot here same way uh, there's another little timber goes this direction and i set a coil spring slash dirt hole right here and i caught raccoon today a lot of my raccoons here lately have been real rubbed and beat up this one's got a huge patch missing on his back i don't know if that's mange got him on a back foot catch so he'll probably have to be dispatched i'm not for sure if that's mange or not but he's got a huge patch missing out of his back end so hopefully this doesn't turn into a raccoon video these are really good set locations and uh the raccoons just started coming out so hopefully i'll, I'll catch something in a cable here on the hill really good spots so but i'm gonna get this dispatch and move on down the line well i'll show you something real quick i use this as a mat so some of these guys they use uh these they wear waders everywhere they go and i used to do that not knocking it and i laid my old pair of hip waders down i cut it and it works really well as a mat for me i like to keep my sets clean a lot of times and if you worry about scent kind of like i do a little bit if i'm going to spend a lot of time on my set i'm going to set my mat down but that's just kind of a little tip on my side of things it's just what i do it doesn't mean that what i do is perfect it might help some of you guys out i don't know why he's missing a big looks like mange he's missing his tail too so not good <laughs> All right, let's keep moving down the line. Well, guys, this is the sort of stuff I love to trap. I saved the best for last. So, uh, we were just over that, that away. And I got a dirt hole up here, here on the hill. I usually do a cedar post. Um, I usually hit that corner. It's usually pretty good. And then, um, this little system here is a pond. They love to hunt that. I have a few cables in there. And then I've got a, uh, coal spring on the corner so as they kind of transition around good stuff good country and unfortunately i just saved the best for last <laughs> so let's go keep checking traps well folks this video is going to take a little twist <laughs> part of the deal on some of my uh, my land trapping is i have to take care of the beavers that enter into the ponds and this beaver structure you see a lot of my beaver trapping videos I've got, I don't know how many. I've, actually, I've got one that'll come out in the spring from uh, last spring of beaver trapping this pond. And I have, I think I've gotten rid of the beavers out of this pond at least three times. And they come back and it's just one of those things that I do is I kind of come by and I scout it. We've got two weeks of muskrat trapping in our state after the regular season ends. ends. So I'm always looking and scouting my properties, but I want to share this with you. So this, this is, I'm going to do the setup of this and then um, I'm going to post hopefully the capture the next day. And I'll put that on this video here. I got a few captures on here, catching a lot of raccoons in the last two, three days. Um, and the coyote line just kind of slowed down. I've got about 60 traps and cables out five different areas and the coyotes, sometimes they get, it takes a while for them to cycle back through. Um, so that's kind of where I've been at. I've got about three days left in my trapping season. So I'm going to share this with you guys real quick. So some of you guys are new to my channel and I, that's why I share this information with you guys so that hopefully you're learning. If you're looking for beavers, uh, you can see this ice is, is so gray. It's like a light gray. And then you always kind of look along the edges and I'll share with you guys 
what I came against. And you want to look for new or fresh chewings. You can see the chewing on this is super old. See how dark that is. And then you start to see the, the newer stuff is usually, or generally, it's going to be like a yellow, real yellow. But the ice is what we're looking for as far as active, active beavers. That's an important thing. So if you're trapping like a, a creek system or a pond like this here, you can see the coloration. And then it changes right here. And so this was, at one time, it was open water. And they kept it open for quite a while. And you can see all the little air bubbles. And usually a lot of times you'll see the trailing. So I think I have probably about 30 beaver trapping episodes. Um, go back through there. I've got a whole playlist of beaver, just beaver trapping. If you like beaver, beaver trapping, i got a bunch on there. And so since this is the coloration of the ice, that's your bank den. And that's what you're looking for. So if you're looking for something that's active, that the coloration is real dark and a lot of air bubbles. And the ice is going to be thinner right there. So be careful if you get ready to set that. So um, I just wanted to share that with you. That's an active bank den. We're going to get that set. And hopefully I'll have the capture on there on this video as well. So let's get that set real quick. I'll show you how to pop that in there. And uh, here we go. So we're getting this at the right time. Because I have set this bank before. And you see my flag is still there from the last time I said I was like, you know what, I'm going to leave my flag there. Because I'm going to come back through here. I bet they'll come back. And they did just one hole right here. It's real, the coloration changes. You can see the air bubbles as they kind of come and go. And when they come out of that bank den, if you're new to beaver trapping, uh, it's hollow under there. And they floosh, when they hit that water, that's where you get your air bubbles. Yeah. So I think there's just one hole right here. And let's get that set. I don't have to chop that very hard. It just pops right in. I'm gonna take the ice off the top. Like taking candy from a baby, right? Oh my gosh, that's deep. Always go with uh, straight sticks. you guys can see that there's my hole I'm gonna set my trap right down in there I like my nice long straight dead sticks you can find those are usually not too hard to find set my trap real simple got my safety on top and uh, gonna poke that in there just as long as it's nice and level we're good to go from there it's got kind of an angle to it I hope I get him here and I don't have to go back to these older ones. Those are never fun. If I didn't have this ice, I would just, oh, I'd be so miserable right now. Cause this water right here is super deep. I'm trying to get it in before we have a thaw. All right, so I just got her in two sticks on the side through the spring eyes. And it just kind of comes and goes right here. I use these safeties. I don't know if you like those or not. But I never trust any of my traps. And they work really well for me. And then I just tie them off with my cable over here. It's kind of nice to let on as well. Hopefully, hopefully, keep my fingers crossed. I have something right here tomorrow. Going to put it on this video if I do. And here we go. On down the line we go. Well, here I am uh, two days later. The came by yesterday and there was nothing in it and uh looks like i got something in there now so i'm starting to lose my ice <laughs> i have to be careful because it's really deep right here so i'll probably just go ahead and pull that out and we'll see what we have in it okay well here's my beaver kind of a dink it's been my experience over the years usually when you catch one of them this small generally speaking there's another one behind it so I reset that trap 
and uh, go from there. Today is is pull day on my regular trapping season. I didn't get all the, my coyote numbers like I wanted to. It just dried out. Caught a lot of raccoons in the last week. Uh, seems like two or three a day. For some reason, the, the coyotes just didn't come back through. I spread out real good, and uh, everything just dried up. It is kind of it's that's the way that it is with trapping sometimes. You know, you, you put your best foot forward and you just keep checking your traps and that's kind of how it goes. And uh, I did my best and that was the main thing. Uh, I ended up being five short or four short of my personal best, which is fine. Other than that, caught a lot of raccoons this year. That was a lot of fun. I got somewhere around 100. I'll probably post some of my fur video when I get done later at the end of the year. I think I'll put up my fur this year and then I may either just sit on it or i don't know might ship it somewhere so other than that i'm probably gonna take a little break on the channel for a while a lot of hate out there on youtube it's really getting kind of bad and some of it comes from other trappers too so this, is, this year has been kind of different and uh it gets you, you you always have to have a thick skin when you know you're in the right and you don't want to back down but at the same time it just you just almost I almost have to weigh out what I'm doing and what I want to keep doing. Um, I, I like I like having you guys around, I like you guys watching my channel, and I'm excited about that. But at the same time, you know it just gets gets old after a while. So from Facebook to YouTube, it's just kind of a a malicious world out there, guys. So, anyways, caught this nice beaver, whole bunch of raccoons. And I had a good time doing it. It was a good trapping season. And uh, there we go. That was today's catch. <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. If you like this video, click the big thumbs up. Leave me a nice comment down below. I'm Jinx. Have a great day.